that neither of the players came through the rounds scoring particularly high, although Aspataki did score a 4-0 and a 3-0 in his semi-final, but Azerbaijan's uh, Rafael Aguirre has a buy in the first round, a 1-0, 1-0, 1-0, and a 1-1 semi-final draw. So, how is this going to pan out, Jill? What are your thoughts? I think that uh, Rafael is a, is a star, but uh, the ball is really surprising as a, as a fighter. He did uh, this championship with authority, and uh, he did... Oh, yeah, she was really Good counter fast. punch, though, there from Af Rafael Agiev. Gabor came in. Yeah. Paspataki over the top of the Chudanzuki from Agiev. He takes the first opening point with Yuko and the central advantage. In the encounter they had in the Premier League in Dubai this year, it was a 5-2 win in favour of Rafael Agia. Now can Gabor Hash Pataki turn that round? He's trailing 1.0, 22 minutes, 15 seconds left. Plenty of time though, Jill, isn't there? Yeah, but uh, I think that uh, he has to attack now and uh, to show because Rafael is waiting for him. And he is able to attack at one he wants. So I think that will we'll see a good, a good fight is coming. Aspataki putting Agiev under pressure as he goes back to the Jogai line. Receives a Chikoku warning. Aspataki still trying to dominate the center of the tatami. Agiev waiting patiently to the deliver the counter punch as he did to take the opening score as Pataki not quite able to take Agiev down to the tatami still one minute 26 seconds to go though just that one point between them Agia receives his second category two warning he now has a cake cocktail such a clever but it's too far away the customary should have Washigari from Agiev as he comes out of the clinch yeah, he's leaving because Rafael used to attack and now really he passed all the fight waiting for the, the attack of the opponent but there was a really fast attack there from yeah. Haspataki but again he went into the counter punch from Agiev, but the coach of Haspataki believes his player scored as well and has asked for a video review which has been rejected by the panel so it is now Rafael Agiev for Azerbaijan leading two points to zero and he still has a central advantage just 48 seconds left of the match Haspataki in red pushing back Forcing Agiev back off the tatami if he possibly can. But Agiev cleverly turns round, spins using that Taisabaki, and the referee asking for a category two warning against Aspataki. He now has a Chikoku into the last 30 seconds now. Agiev holding on. Just relaxed for a second there, didn't he, Gilles? Yeah, sure. And Aspataki was asked to take full advantage of that. Pulls back one of those points. Just trails now by one Yuko, and they sent you against him. 24 seconds left still to go, though. Aspataki straight back into the action, trying to force Agiev back into a corner. In the last 15 seconds now, clever move from Agiev as he ducks down and spins. That's for Taki then, a Chudanzuki, a bit close. Into the last three seconds. Done. 
Once more, though, Agniev has the warning. He loses the central advantage now with just one second ago, to go. Haspataki must come straight off the line. But he concedes. I'm surprised. I'm surprised. I would have thought he would have come straight off the line with a, a technique at least. Yeah, maybe. But because you know, after the two they should, but I think that he felt that uh, Hagen was working for him and he has no chance because he's really strong in this friend, Hagen. And he has the most intimate. I think that he felt that uh, he knows the goal fight. He has to the fight. That's quite normal, but I, 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 I will agree with you. You have to believe one in yourself. Second. One second. And the You've last seen world title one and lost in one second. But it's but this man, Rafael Agiev, you have to take take it uh, that he is the king of the minus 75 kilograms.